Welcome to this new video. I will show you how to install Eclipse C++ IDE in step-by-step -step fashion. But first you need to know if you have Java installed in your PC. Eclipse is built in Java programming language and run on top of Java Virtual Machine. Go to Java website. Click Do I have Java and run it. If yes you have the 32-bit Java application. In my case I have a 64-bit PC-based CPU. Go to Oracle website and search for 64-bit Java runtime environment. You will need the latest updated version. Accept the user agreement and download the Windows Offline Executable. Run the 64-bit executable and install it. To be sure we can open the 64-bit program files folder to check if Java is installed to the correct path. Now go to Eclipse.org and download the latest version of Neon Package. Be sure to select Windows and search for C++ IDE and of course download the 64-bit Windows application. Now we have the zip file that contains the executable. Shorten the name of the zip file like I'm doing and the open it with WinRAR or any zip extractor and extract to 64-bit program files folder. I have done it before, but now go to Program Files folder and look for Eclipse folder where we have extracted it, open it and search for the Eclipse application and make a desktop shortcut. Rename it and then launch it. Wait a few seconds before it opens.
the workspace window will appear and make it the default path where our programming project will be located. Eclipse will open and the welcome page will appear. But for now minimize the window. We will need to install the latest GCC compiler. The MinGW. Go to Equation.com. Under the Programming Tools section click on Fortran, C++ link and search for the latest GCC compiler, the 6.1 version available in executable format. When you have downloaded it, go to the program, right click and click Run as administrator. Next a pop-up window will appear. Click Accept the License Agreement. We will create an installation folder of its own. Shorten the path to C drive root. And type uppercase M, lowercase N and again uppercase GW. The installation will take some time. Now that we have installed the compiler let's create our first program. Click create a new C++ project, in the following window dialog box name the project like you want. In my example I will name it first program. In the project type under the executable make sure to select empty project and in the tool chain select min gw compiler and click finish. Close the welcome page. And now we have in the left pane the Project Explorer. Make sure that the open perspective, the C++ is the default perspective. On the top of the menu go to Window and open preferences. Next go to C++ tab and under code style open code template.
Under Files select C++ Source Code and click New. I will give a name of its purpose, so this source code template will contain the main function. In the pattern field here we will write our source code template. I'm adding some comment line in C style code and click insert variable button. First the preprocessor directive go on the top with an MA space mechanism, and then the function main with the return statement. I will add a C outline code here for outputting a message to our console application. And now click OK and apply the change to our default source code. In the Project Explorer select our project and then right click, go to New Source File. In the new dialog box make sure to check in the template section RC++ with main as the default one. Don't forget to add the .cpp extension to our source file. Double click in the source file we just created and it will open in the text editor. Here I will zoom it a little bit pressing at the same time control key with the shift and plus key.
First save the project and then click the hammer symbol to build it. In the Project Explorer a new folder called Debug will be created. This folder contain the executable program we just created. Click the Run symbol and the program will be executed in console pane. In the next video we will configure more things in Eclipse that we will need. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe.